Hello everybody, Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to more One Step From Eden. Last few parts I showed off Gunner's and Shiso's new outfits, and I at least got to the gate with Shiso, given that I was doing neutral runs this time around. This time I'm going to switch things up and do Hazel with her new outfit. The Priestess Outfit. Doesn't she look more powerful in those clothes? I think so. Oops. Ah, oh, that was down. I'm not doing as well at this game as I usually do. I better not do either of those. I said no to the ice flow game. Actually, before I go on, I'll need to do my other focus, which will be double lift. Oh. Thank you. This new trick for... Saving hostages near crystals as Hazel. Ah, oh, I love... I love Priestess Hazel's weapon animations. Hitting them in three different ways. Ooh, another one. That'll ensure you're safe. Thank you. It's my pleasure. There are certain Hexa-1 weapons that aren't meant to be gotten. I don't know. I... Okay, good. I thought I might have to kill off the hostage in order to make this emotionally easier for me. Easier for me to focus on the enemies, I mean, but... Just have to make do with what I can do. I'll just upgrade a spell for now. I don't think it needs three mana anymore. For this run, at least. Yeah. I'm a priestess with turret. Now here's another priestess. Or, I don't think you can call Terra a priestess, can I? I think it's safe to say that she's not quite a priestess. Oh, gotta remember to focus, to not focus 100% on the, t on upgrading the turret. Oh gosh.
Oh man, I, I'm starting to regret the crap out of placing my turret there. But, surprisingly, it worked out. Bye! Um, I don't think I want any of those right now. It's okay to put it here, though. In this battle. No harm to the shopkeeper. Intentionally. There we go. Ambient first got the job done fine. I don't think I want to lose HP this battle. I've learned that gaining more HP helps a lot. all that shield. I think it only needed a couple more shots in order to destroy that enemy. I could do thunder. box that I killed the hostage. But I've got another means of healing myself, which you've seen, and that is by going to a camp. Right here. I think one's gotta wonder if the shield gen's aura gives structures and enemies and players around them gain shield every second. Since the shield gen is within its own aura, why can't it give itself shield, I wonder? Uh. 
I'm so low on health now. Ah. Uh, no. Um. Okay then. I think I killed a character. I can't remember who. Yeah, that was Terror I killed. Um, I've made a comment over on Etherville's channel where I told him that in an earlier run that I had with Saffron, default, I think, I had a battle with Violet, and, and after I lost to her, she healed me for 200 HP, like Saffron did just now. I told him that I thought that I was low on health when the battle started, but but Aetherville then told me that, assuming that I'm not a, on a genocide run, which I obviously am not trying to do, there is a higher chance that bosses will spare me once I lose to them. If you're watching this Aetherville, thank you once again. Saffron's right. I do need to practice my casting skills more. And my overall skill at one step from Eden. I'm not quite satisfied with the part that I died. Why not go again? Okay, so this time for the first boss. I have Gunner. He's not as bad as any of the other tier Gunners. Well, Gunner 1 at least. Except the 1 isn't displayed next to his name for unknown reason. Oop oop. Uh, now I have the hiccups. This is not the time for that. Let me tell you now. Okay, it's just bottom. No sweat. Oh. Uh. I'll spare you for now. If it's Terra, I'll probably kill her. Yep, Terra's gonna be the next boss for this battle. I'll see you when I get to her, everyone. Alright, and here we are at Terra, once again. She builds... Uh, I build, she destroys. Muddled up there for a second. Sorry for the misunderstanding, everyone.
Uh, having no aim marker certainly makes this game harder than normal. Maybe I shouldn't spend too much of my money since I got the Sarah Cannon on this run off screen. Oh, that's it. Impossible. Yeah. Moving on. Okay, good, it's Celacy. So that means I get to knock her out of the way early. Ooh! Big time damage. I think I'm good. I think I'm good enough that I don't need a med kit. I should be okay. Uh. Rock Tomb. Got it. I still want to make it to the gate before I have to end my session. I think I'll be doing one or two more sessions of gameplay before I continue my break. Because the second reason why I am pausing my break is because there's a game that is blowing up and... And probably every major YouTuber has been playing it, and I want to join in on the fun as well. You'll see it when it's uploaded. I probably shouldn't spend too much. What's 3 October 10th still? I still wonder about that. Alright then, I'm moving ever closer to Celacy. And there we go. I'll take a shot of focus as well, and another mana vein. And here we go, Celacy. Should be best to keep cool when you're in battle with Celacy. Oops. Okay, still no damage. Still no damage, damage, I meant.
Okay. And, uh, adios. I still have to remember that if I win against Reva, then I'll have to spare her because I still want to be protected whenever I get killed when I'm at the gate. In fact, here I am approaching her now. Now's my chance to show that I can fortify hostages to prevent them from being killed by exploding crystals. That turned out to be a success. Oh, the creature's gonna be free. Oh, I freed him. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, those wide shots are a bit hard for me to dodge. Here. It's so far into the enemy field, it might as well just be past that. Ooh, blood money. Gain 20 money when you kill a hostage. That's gonna be useful for my Sarah cannon. Actually, now that I think about it, is Sarah a term for money in this game? Ooh, self defense turret. Didn't quite see that self-defense turret there. Whoops. Cannon's gonna do a whopper of a damage. runs overall, and especially the gate parts to be easier once I have Reva on my side. She protects me from death.
more. And she's down. Sure, protect them. Preferably me. Moving on to the forest. Where Shiso awaits at the end. That was a quick battle. Shield beam is always useful whenever I need to protect myself and hurt a few enemies at the same time. I think I better not get the Hellfire. I'll do a beacon. I got the first aid kit somehow. I didn't think I was gonna get it at first. Laser turret. That could be very useful against the gate. I think I'll be able to get at least halfway through the gate fight this time, but I'm not sure. All that damage on an enemy with very little health. Talk about overkill. I don't need these. Shiso. You still look as badass as ever. Got that that yellow thingy can also trigger my stop time when shuffling artifact. Oh, I didn't think that was a good time to use that bow and arrow. Uh, it's like someone presses the pause button just to see that yellow thing hit me just at the right time. But this is no DVD player. This is a video game. And now, Shiso, I'm gonna have to ask you to die. Feel bad for doing it, but it's for the pacifist run. Uh, I don't think I took out Saffron. I don't think I. I don't think I've taken care of Saffron as early as I wanted to. That could be a problem. 
We'll see exactly how much of a problem it will be once I get to her. And I'll see how much health I have when I reach her. I doubt she's going to spare me this time around. Wow. I have over a thousand money now. directions. I've got to be careful of that. Oh gosh. Okay, I, I feel like I've got to get rid of that beacon now. Uh, I'm going to die before the gate again, am I? If that's the case, I'm going to rage quit for the night. Well, I think this is going to be my last run of the night no matter what because it's so late it's uh 9 30 now right on the nose as of this as of this point in the recording very high levels at this point. Then there's her revive status that I have to worry about. Well, you shouldn't have stirred. Well, you shouldn't have stirred stood in the way of that turret. I'll spare you for right now. That was such a bad way to die, to lose in battle. Holy crap, these, these drone-like things are really giving me trouble now. Oh, 
Oh, holy crap, Anoli. Now that I think about it, maybe I probably shouldn't have gotten that luck box in the first place if I had known that the game was going to be this much harder. like enemy out of the way now. Good for that. As always, greatly appreciated, Saffron. As is all the other characters that I have spared. now, the more luck I have. I'm finally going to rest at the camp again. It's about time that happened. I find it convenient that the self-defense turret don't always respond to my attacks on it. It responds to the enemy's attacks as well. I don't think it's attacked me once in this battle. Alright, Violet. I was able to get out of it. And now I am able to go into the gate once again. Your music isn't always aggressive. I know it. Alright. Here we are at the gate again. Oh, I cannot afford to make any dumb mistakes here.
I don't know if you can hear my voice in this or the previous part when I fought the gate. I'll check for it in post. This is so intense. be able to beat the gate this time, if I'm lucky. I think I have Rebus Effect still active. That would save me. I could use it about now. Yes, thank you. Alright, I cannot afford to die again. So close to. I was hoping to reach the gate and probably at most kill it. The gate, I mean, so I could show you what would happen, but uh, apparently that's not going to happen tonight. I don't think I'll have enough time to record another episode of this in this session. All right. I think that's going to do it for this session, as I've just said. I'll I'll do one more session of One Step for Eden tomorrow at relative to me recording this. Then I'll do a session of the game that I have mentioned earlier. But I think it's about time for me to get some to prepare to get some shut eye. So Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next part, most certainly. Bye!